you'll hear about STI and HIV. Nothing is giving you a holistic picture of what human sexuality is in Jamaica. And it's quite difficult to teach that way. But the fact of the matter is, we are made up of way more than HIV and STI and homosexuality and family planning. So, enough said on that. The fact is that nobody will ever escape sexuality because it's part of our lower brain. It's a drive, like our appetites, food, um, breathing, whatever else. You can't live without breathing, you can't live without eating, you can't live without sex. But for some reason, it has been logged into the same zone in your brain that drives the appetites and what it is for survival. Because when we were at the point of dragging out people by their hair out of caves and all that, if you didn't have sex, the species couldn't have gone on. So it was plugged into the same area. Alright, so, and then why am I doing this in truth? The reason is, I found out that all roads seem to lead to Rome. I went to a funeral, and nine policemen surrounded me, and they wanted to know what women wanted. So at the funeral, I spent 30 minutes teaching nine policemen how to assess what women wanted. Right. So I went to a garage. I went to a garage. And at the garage, the men were all asking me, what their medications have to do with erectile dysfunction. I went to a cafe and all the women wanted to ask me, how are they to tell their men about giving them romance? So guess what? The fact of the matter is all roads will always lead to road. So I decided to try a thing. It appears that we